Hi gardeners, it's time to talk about taking care of those tomatoes. So there's a reason that we call tomatoes the divas of the garden. You can't just stick them in the ground and walk away like many other plants. You have to take care of them. They're gonna get really tall. I know they look really innocent and small in those containers when you buy them at the garden center or if you, with me, started them from seed back in March or April, but they're gonna get really big. Most varieties will. There are some varieties that will stay shorter, but most of the varieties that we grow are indeterminate, which means we don't know how big they're gonna get and they will just keep going. So I've had them get as high as six or seven feet in my garden. So this is what we normally use. It's called a tomato cage and you plunge this into the ground. You plant your tomato plant in the middle and it grows up and then all the limbs hang out over the sides. And this is the most common way you'll see to grow tomatoes. These cages are sold everywhere, every hardware store, every, um, every place where you can buy anything to do with your garden. Here's the thing, I don't love these. I'm not a fan. I use them for years and what happens is when the tomato gets this high and it rains or you have wind or it just gets heavy with fruit from growing tomatoes, it, they fall over the side and they snap when they hit the top of this. So I stopped using these years ago and I, I made the plunge and purchased a somewhat expensive product or at least it seemed very expensive to me when I first bought them and I was a, a newer gardener. They're called Texas tomato cages and they come in two pieces that look like this. I bought them online and I'll provide the link if you want to buy them. I really don't know of any place else to buy these except for a Texas tomato cage. Um, they sell similar items on Amazon and I'll provide a link for those too, but I really like these. So they come in two pieces and the first piece you'll stick in the ground and you'll put, I can fit two, three or even four tomato plants in these. And then when they start to get tall like this, I'll put this piece on top. So I have done that here and you can see my tomatoes are getting higher than the original level that I planted them in this first cage and I've added the second cage on top and these will grow all the way up and out the top of this tomato cage. They're really sturdy. I've never had these fall over and they last and last. I think I've had these for almost 15 years and they are in good condition today so that uh, that purchase that felt expensive to me all those years ago I think it was over a hundred dollars for six sets of them um, has probably paid off many many times because I would have ruined and bent those other cheaper tomato cages that I bought at the home center between now and then so this is the expensive way to do this. A tomato cage is what I would consider an intermediate way to do it, not super effective, but they're inexpensive if you're just ready to trellis your tomatoes up and maybe you're not sure if you're gonna do tomatoes again, you're just trying this for the first time, in which case a six or seven dollar tomato cage probably is the right way to go for you. And then there's the free method. I always like to use a free method for my gardeners that are on a tight budget. You take any kind of uh, bamboo or a wooden post or anything that you have lying around that's about six feet long that you can drive into the ground drive that into the ground next to your tomato plant and just tie your tomato plant to that it will not be the most effective way to do it but you absolutely can stake your tomatoes that way if you don't want to spend a dime on your garden this year so um, please let me know if you have questions and then in my next video about tomatoes we'll talk about how to prune them to get um, the bount most bountiful uh, harvest that you can from your tomatoes this year. Totally worth it. All right, happy gardening.